Hello and welcome to Equilibrium Season 3. Today we are going to be speaking about the devil. So the devil has been known by many different roles, so one being the spirit or power of all evil, uh, one of the seven princes of hell, and also the prince of evil spirits. It's also known in many different religions across the world, including Christian theology as well as Islamic theology. In monotheistic Western religions, he is known as the angel who fell from grace. He actually went up against God and tried to replace him up in heaven. In Christian theology, it was the aim of the devil to take humanity away from life and in fact actually turn them towards death and destruction. In Islamic theology, the devil is known by many names including Iblis, al Shaitan, which is meaning demon, or Adu'a Allah, meaning enemy of God. There are many tales of the devil, including in British folklore. So some believe that the devil has actually made his mark across different areas of Britain. One such place is Hindhead, which is located in Sussex. Now, the story goes that the devil was actually very unhappy that there was lots of churches um, being built in the Sussex area. So, to show his displease with this, he decided that he was going to start digging this hole to make the area flood. Now, he did actually abandon this plan as he was scared that he was going to get caught. The bowl-like remains then led it to be called the Devil's Fruit Bowl. It is like this especially in Yorkshire where you also have the Devil's Chair. The Devil's Chair can be found at the southern entrance to the largest prehistoric stone circle in Britain. There is also claims that this rock has mystical powers to bring back the Devil. Have you heard any stories? Let us know! Thank you for joining me and join me next time for another episode on demons. And remember, stay spooky.